Welcome to Two Old Guys at Celebrate Act 2 talking about stuff. What are we going to talk about today? What kind of hey, stuff? Art, I'd say it's a, I would say COVID. You you sound like you've got a head cold. Are you still getting over the COVID that you had, even though yeah. it was a mild COVID? Uh, yeah, actually, the interesting thing about it is that uh, uh, I rarely have colds that we discuss this. Um, but uh, getting over COVID, I've been negative now about uh, close to a week, but I still yeah. have um still feeling uh, a little bit stuffy and uh, it's like a long tail end of it. But you know what? Compared to what a lot of people describe, uh, uh, I'm doing fine. Probably I'm expecting another week or so until most of this just drains out. Yeah, I think that uh, your COVID was mild because you follow Dr. Liz's advice and take a lot of vitamin D. I, I do, do, I do. As a yeah. matter of fact, as uh, many other conversations we've had about taking supplements and all talking Medicare supplements, right. I'm talking about pills. You are uh, the supplement king in our world. I am. In our world. I am. If it if it'll make if it sounds good, I'll take it. Yeah. Right. So except uh, for Vax, I'm not the same liberal with Vax. Right. But in any event, uh, uh, based on you and Dr. Liz, I do take that. I think it helped me. And I also took some extra vitamin C tablets along Good. the way. So, but, so what are you up to these days? Uh, well, interesting. Uh, here we are officially in autumn, mm. as we discussed with Bill Jordan. It's not fall. It's autumn. We old people don't like the word fall. Right. Um, and so... In most parts of the country, you know, autumn means planning on raking leaves or, or you know, whatever. Mm. Here in Southern California, and I would venture to say Southern Texas, Alabama, Louisiana, and certainly Florida, maybe even parts of Georgia, it's time for a winter garden. Ah, winter yep. gardens. Yeah. So this last weekend, I went out and bought five different uh, seedlings, five different crops. I put them in. I've got Brussels sprouts. Peas, by the way, are a great winter crop. Mm -hmm. Fall crop, cold weather crop. Um, but I put in some lettuce, mm -hmm. which you can't do, certainly in Southern California, you can't do during the hot weather. Um, what else did I put in? Um, well, I've already got the pumpkins and watermelons growing. So uh, peas, Brussels sprouts, lettuce. Oh, broccoli and cauliflower. Oh, my favorites, because I always look forward to our visits yep. when they're in season and I get a couple of bags full. And last year, I brought you some cauliflower as big as your head. They were great. Right. Yeah. They were terrific. Yeah. So anyway. Winter, oh, wait, you also brought some broccolini or something. Well, you had some kind of. Last year, I had broccolini. Yeah, which was interesting. Uh, mm. This year, it's just straight broccoli. Hmm. Um, and we'll see. You know, I just put them in. We'll probably get a crop in uh, early December, you know. And then we don't get here in Southern California, if we get a real frost, we may not get a frost till February. So, you know, I've got all this growing time that uh, people up north don't have, even in the middle of the country. Certain, I don't think uh, Kansas or Iowa, they don't, they don't do winter gardens. Well, it seems, but, to, it seems to me that every year we seem to have a conversation about what you've decided to put in for a uh, a crop, maybe twice a year because you have a couple of planting right. seasons. Uh, so maybe we ought to come up with a new segment called Old Nick Coleman has a farm. <laughs> Had a farm, EI, uh, EI, right. whatever it is. Yeah. We could have theme music. Maybe we, could anyway, get, um, maybe we could get Taylor Swift to come up with a theme song for us. Uh, I, I love Taylor. <laughs> I love that idea. Uh, but I guess for everybody else, the real point is as the seasons change, we adapt to them. Mm. We take full advantage of whatever is available. I, I remember being up in New England, and uh, this is a little early now, but not too far from now, people are going to start going on the Kangamangas Highway to watch the, the, the fall leaves, colors. Right. The leaves. So. It's it's a wonderful, I think just the whole change of seasons is wonderful. And for those people who think that the southern states don't get a change of seasons, they're, they're very wrong. You, you may not be a big dramatic change, but we, mm. we do notice the difference. Right. For us, we know a change of season when 
they start selling Halloween stuff in the stores or Christmas stuff in the stores. That to if us not, is if a change of no other reason. Even if you don't know that uh, peas are good to grow in, in October and November, right. yeah. I'm looking forward to cauliflower and broccoli coming up uh, real soon. Yeah, good. And of course, wintertime is when the citrus comes out. So mm. we'll see you all soon and uh, enjoy the seasons. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.